How do you become a servant leader? Hi, this is Coach Jim Johnson. Are you a servant leader? Are you someone who seeks to lead first or to serve first? There are definitely times when you do both, but many people often forget to serve others before themselves. As a professional speaker, I'm always looking to grow my skills and bring value to others. Recently, I finished building a new keynote presentation centered around servant leadership. In this video, I will give you the definition of servant leadership and three keys to help you become a better servant leader. First of all, the definition. I define servant leadership as the traditional pyramid is the leaders on top and the, the people on the team are below the leader and they're consistently serving them. Well, the servant leader flips the pyramid so he or she is on the bottom and they are always finding ways to serve their people first. Remember, put others' needs before your own. Now the three keys. Key number one, you must learn to lead yourself. What is your why? What is your personal mission statement? Do you have it in writing? A couple great questions to ask yourself to put a mission statement. Why was I put on this earth? What are my three most important values? Then use those statements to put together your own personal mission statement so you can be a better leader of yourself. Point number two, lead others. Once you are a master at leading yourself, you can then begin to lead others. First of all, lead by example. Secondly, consistently have energy. Develop a personal wellness plan. Thirdly, be intentional to build relationships and trust with others. In building trust, align your words and actions, speak the truth consistently, and always catching people doing the right things. And the third key is develop other leaders. Help others become leaders as well. Teach them to be good communicators and aggressive listeners. A few questions to ask your team members. First one is, what can I do to keep you on the team? Number two, what's getting in your way to achieving success? And third one is, what can I do to help you be more successful? So in conclusion, to become a better servant leader, you must be consistently curious about others and take pride in being an involved mentor. Praise expected behavior in public and correct poor behavior in private. I believe servant leadership is the way to be the most effective leader. So take these three keys, make sure that you understand the definition of servant leader, and go out and pack the world by being a better leader of yourself, leading others, and then the ultimate in servant leadership is when you can develop other leaders.